next question is question number 21 one mango blank the tree fell down on my head now in this question we have to fill the right preposition of over from or on see of is used to show possession okay possession of non living things for example we say legs of chair but here our point is not to show the possession Okay, over, over shows height. For example, the clouds are over us. Something which is at height, okay, and it is moving. Okay, there should be a motion plus height. In that case, we use preposition. Over. The clouds are moving over us. Okay, there is motion, there is height. So definitely not the right one. Okay, on. On is used to show surface of something. When something is placed on the surface of something else. For example, the books are on the table you see books are on the surface of table so we say on the table over and off i told you all the three prepositions and their usages which don't fit in like any of these doesn't fit in in this plan one mango we are trying to say one mango from the tree from is used to show it is used to indicate the origin or source so here it is uh, showing the origin or source of the uh, mango that fell one mango from the tree okay the origin was tree one mango from the tree fell down on my head so that's why right answer here will be option b that mango came down from the tree. Now, next question is again, fill in the blanks. Blank is your house. What is your house? When is your house? Where is your house? Or whether is your house? First one, this option. Option D, first thing. Option D can be ruled out. Whether is not even a question word. You don't use it to form questions. All right. Now, when is your house? When is used to ask about time. You can't ask time of a house. Where? Where is used to ask about a place, location. That's why this is the right one. Where is your house? Means you have to tell the place, the locality, the location. Where is your house? What is your house? What is used to ask about anything in general? Okay, to ask about any information. What is your age? What are you doing? Like that. But here we want to ask about the place. That's why right answer will be where. Well. Next question, question number 23. Siram blank tennis every day for the last one year. We will use elimination technique here. Have. Subject is singular. So we can't use plural verb with it. That's why option C is ruled out. Now we are talking about for the last one year. We are talking about past here. And will play is future. That's why an incorrect option. Will play shows future. Now. If the question was only this, Sairam blank tennis every day. If the question ends here, then place can be the right answer because it shows habitual action. That Sairam plays tennis every day. It's uh, his habitual action. But 
the hint here is this for the last one year now it shows that saira was engaged in the activity of playing tennis every day over the past one year means it shows past that's why answer can't be plays it will be played instead just because of this past hint for the last one year that's why answer is option a next question is again from fill in the blanks we have to pick the uh, right option to fill in this blank he is blank tallest boy in our class so let me tell you this very important concept here whenever we have a superlative degree of adjective in our sentence we always write article the before it okay we have to use article the before superlative degrees of adjective so we can't say he is a tallest boy we can say he is a tall boy okay we can say he is a tall boy because here we are not making any comparison it's a positive degree so a uh. but if we have superlative uh, superlative degree in the question given like in this case tallest we have to go with article the we can say he is the tallest boy in our class so right answer is option b next is the bus stop is just blank my house can the bus stop be under my house by any chance no right eliminated down my house again incorrect in front it is grammatically also incorrect because the right one is right preposition is in front of you can say the bus stop is just in front of my house but not only in front it is incorrect so the only option that we are left with is across the bus stop is just across my house across means on the opposite side okay and uh, for example this is house okay this is my house and this is bus stop you see opposite side okay across is this opposite side means you need to cross from one side of the house to the other to reach the bus stop this is across so definitely right answer is across the bus stop is just across my house then we have okay we are left with last five questions and these are from interactive english in which there are two people conversing with each other okay there is a conversation given but it is incomplete you have to make it incomplete ideal and meaningful by picking the right option for the given blank so in the very first question or the 31st question teacher is asking how old are you you have to now pick the best possible response which sham will give i am not old sir i am young not old older than my sister if you look at these three options these are not at all justified answers if somebody is asking you how old are you you are supposed to tell your age okay for example i am 6 year old i am 10 year old like that you can't say i am not old i am young <laughs> not the right one or you you don't tell your age comparing with someone else age like older than or younger than my sister no right answer will be 6 years so you are telling your age in this question uh, in this blank in this option basically so that's why this is the right answer then we have next question number 
Mom is asking, have you taken all your books with you? What will Sam say? Yes, I did. Yes, I have. Yes, I am. Or yes, I can. See, if a question starts with have. If a question starts with have. Your answer should also have have in it. If somebody is asking, have you taken? Your answer will be yes, I have taken or no, I have not taken. It can't be I did, I am or I can or any other word. No. It is option B only. Yes, I have. Similarly, if a question starts with do, your answer should be do. Okay, your answer should have do in it. For example, if somebody asks you this. Do you have a pen? Now you won't say yes, I have. No, your answer will be yes, I do. So look at the helping verb given. If it is do, your answer will contain do. If it is have, your answer should have have in it. So right answer is option B. Then 33rd question is, Varun is asking, where do you live? Will you say in a house? Come on, that's common sense, right? That, that's not the justified answer. In a house or in my parents' house or on third floor. Now, he wants to know where do you live? Like the locality, the colony, uh, the name of the street, the name of the society, like that. Okay, name of a place, where do you reside? It, can, it can't be on third floor. Like th on third floor, where? In which society? Right. So, right answer will be in Lalit. Lalit can be a name of a society, it can be name of a colony, it can be name of a street. It's the name of a locality basically. In Lalit, next to our school. Right answer is option D. Now, in the next question, question number 34, Sahil. Hi, Meera. Meet our new classmate, Ali. Meera, what will Meera say? If somebody is introducing you, to a person, to a, one of your classmates, what will you say? You are now my friend. No. Like at the very first place, you don't say this. Ali, I'm Sai's friend. No. You will like it here. No. You will say hi first. Yes. Whenever you meet someone for the very first time, you say hi, hello, how are you? Like that. Hi, Ali. Nice to meet you. That should be the justified answer. And that's why the right answer of this question option c okay then we are now here at the last question the final question from this paper which is question number 35 mother is asking why are you washing that jackfruit now four options are given again you have to pick the best one that addresses the mother's question and tells a logical expl uh, expl uh, explanation for basically this question. Okay. Your answer, your option should be like that. That it is giving a logical explanation for the mother's question. Why are you washing that jackfruit? You told me to wash all fruits before eating. Let's have a look at all the options. You will find the better one. Okay. To remove its spikes. No. No, I'm not washing it. Just scratching my palms, you see, not the justified one. In fact, it's a very funny one. Now, the justified, the logical explanation for the mother's question here will be, it had a lot of dirt from the market stuck on it. That's why I'm washing it. Okay, why are you washing it? Because it had a lot of dirt from the market stuck on it. This is the justified one the best possible response for this question so these were all the questions that i had to discuss with you from this paper now i will see you very soon in the next session with more questions till then bye bye take care keep learning keep sharing